In an era where middle infielders were expected to field first and hit later, if at all, Bobby Doerr broke the mold en route to Cooperstown. Born April 7, 1918, when World War I was raging around the globe, and named in honor of United States General John J. Pershing, Robert Pershing Doerr debuted in the big leagues at age 19 with the Red Sox. For the next 15 seasons, save for one year he spent in the Army during World War II, Doerr defined play at second base in the big leagues. In his first full season in 1938, Doerr drove in 80 runs, an unusually high total for a second baseman. It proved to be a sign of things to come, as Doerr posted six 100 RBI seasons during his career. Doerr was also a superb fielder, leading the league in assists three times, putouts three times, and double plays five times in an era before Gold Glove Awards were presented. He was named to nine All-Star games, hit at least 15 home runs in 10 different seasons, and batted 409 in his only trip to the World Series in 1946. Ted Williams, who played with Doerr for 10 seasons in Boston, called his teammate the silent captain of the Red Sox. With his bat and glove, however, Doerr made a lot of noise and plenty of history. Bobby Doerr was elected to the Hall of Fame in 1986.